Hey guys, Budget Jedi here with a collaboration video with Bilma, aka Jedi Vlogger. The premise of today's video is very simple. Uh, here's my trusty table. It's about four feet by six feet long. And today, I'm simply gonna have fun by setting up a hangar display using all of my pilots, droids, and vehicles. Now this diorama is gonna be inspired by the Yavin hangar but it will not be at all movie specific. Today I'm not paying any attention to who's specifically in this diorama. Um, it's really meant to be simple, good old fun with toys. Alright, here are the items that I've laid out on my table. Pretty much all I want to use for my diorama. Keep in mind, I don't want to do much work at all. For this diorama, actually Jedi Vlogger will be doing most of the work as you will see. I've got a B-Wing here that I haven't opened yet, oh, no, a Y-Wing, and I've got three X-Wings, my favorite vehicle. I've got Red 1, Red 2, and Red 5, and I've got an A-Wing over there. Here are my pilots. I've got plenty of pilots from my loose collection. Keep it in this uh, box here. I've got some uh, newer pilot packs. This is Jack Porkins and Friends. And of course, you gotta have your figure clear stands. I have here a couple of uh, rebel transports as well as rebel troopers. These rebel transports went on clearance late last year I believe uh, for about ten dollars a piece so I was grabbing some of that. And here are some items that uh, Jedi Vlogger had sent me. And here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna explain a little bit of uh, the elements that I'm going to be using in this diorama and then Jedi Vlogger will explain his. Now when you have Star Wars vehicles it's always nice to have ladders for these fighters. My Red 2 came with this nice yellow ladder that's movie accurate but what I like to do is when I go to Dollar Tree they sell these wrestling figures that come with accessories usually it's like a ladder or a table or something like that these things cost a dollar at Dollar Tree and what's nice about these ladders that you can get is they actually can flip into two different parts. They can actually be separated into two ladders and these ladders perfectly match the four inch scale figures and vehicles. Next a really cool accessory for dioramas is this LED light string. It's basically a long strand of LED lights with batteries I bought this uh, from a discount store for four dollars. What I've done here is I've put this string of lights all around my vehicle and as you can see by turning it on these lights are evenly spaced all through the string and you can actually cover up the ones you don't want with a piece of tape and the rest will look like it's lighting up the vehicle just very similar to the ones you saw at the Yavin hangar. Now here I have some leftover cardboard as well as some potato chips Pringles cases that I'm going to be using for the pillars and everything should look like they're made out of uh, cement and so I have this cheap spray paint that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be spray painting all of them gray. For the floor of the hangar I'm using these black sheets that you can buy from uh, Dollar Tree. They're about 69 cents each and each one is about two feet by three feet large can easily cover up the table. I just wanted to use black because it's uh, less hassle for me in using uh, a lot of the other elements. I also like to have walls in my dioramas to kind of enhance the look of it. Now what I've done here is I've taken a piece of cardboard and I've drawn sort of large brick patterns similar to the pillars in on Yavin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the lines with a piece of crayon here I've outlined some of the lines with uh, crayon and you know kind of smudged them a bit and the smudging makes it look I guess a little bit more like stone pattern. Welcome to my kitchen slash workshop. As you can see here we have some various junk here on the countertop. I saw something in the uh, scramble of Yavin scene that I thought that would be a cool thing to make. So I made this guy um, right here, this little yellow 
piece of equipment. This is the scene where um, right after the princess has been rescued, she returns to Yavin. And, well, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here it is, Ed. Uh, the yellow that I use is a little brighter than it's portrayed in the movie. Um, and this uh, silver piece here, whoops, sorry, dude. Relax, relax. Uh, the silver piece is actually more of a kind of a tubular piece of equipment. I just painted it with a with a marker there because, uh, to be honest, this thing um, it's not going to get much screen time. It's just a little piece of piece of equipment that's going to be on the, on in your video for like a nanosecond. I just thought it was fun. It's small. Um, you can see we took the the 550 cord and I cut it off and melted the ends and just put a little silver tip and it's running underneath. Uh, what this connects to in the movie, it's a vehicle maintenance energizer. Um, the real one in the movie is like actually a darker gray, so. I actually just put a bid on eBay and I totally forgot about it, but we have the Star Wars maintenance vehicle energizer thingy. As you can see, the box is, uh, well, it's showing its age. It has some little wrenches on the side, they're missing, but it does have the, the actual hoses. Um, so I'm thinking about giving a, a fresh coat of paint that's a little bit more metallic, a little bit darker, more realistic to the movie, and then getting on Photoshop and maybe fixing these uh, stickers. I was going to make some of these little cargo boxes. As you can see here, this is where uh, Luke's like, hey, why don't you stay around? And Han's like, I'm out of here, dude. I got my money. I'm, I'm bailing. And Chewbacca's just trying to be the quiet hero of the bunch. So let's go into the kitchen and see what I came up with. This was my original incarnation of this, and I did this from memory, but looking at the movie up close, I realized that this is completely wrong. Here we go. This is much, much, much better. Um, these are the cargo boxes that, that I remade um, <laughs> from it. As you can see, um, by looking at it, if I can get it in focus, these are just little wood blocks that I cut using power tools and then I painted them the proper olive green and instead of going through the trouble of painting the stripes on there I just took some some masking tape and, and I scored it and basically made little pinstripes for it and so these were super easy to make uh, I took a little piece of matte board I can't really get that in focus in this kind of a light but to, to give them kind of a lid look um, I, I glued a little piece of matte board but that was super easy so I made six of these hanging out here, um, and these all collectively, putting these together, took me less time than that one piece of crap. And then some, with some extra wood, uh, these aren't really, you know, movie accurate, but I made uh, these larger ones, and I put handles on those because these are kind of a custom job. So. And last but not least, Ed, you wanted me to show a little closer detail of the vehicle maintenance energizer, and here it is. I wish... The camera's not really picking up some of the detailing in how uh, kind of beat up the, the paint looks. It's, it, I'm really impressed. I got lucky with it. I'm not saying I'm a super paint job specialist or anything, but it looks um, really, really good. I'm really, really stoked about it. All right, guys, check it out. This is my homemade Rebel Hanger setup also known as my dining table completely improved so what a fantastic way to play with all my toys and action figures and give them some serious display time let me first give you guys a look around the outside of this it's basically you know just cardboard all throughout I didn't I didn't have enough space on my table I have a big table but I don't have enough space for uh, large foam board walls or anything and at the end here you can see I've put the two Pringle potato chip uh, cylinders kind of like a, a pillar kind of wish I had more of that but uh, I don't eat that many of those things Total time probably took about two days, two Saturdays, you know, making up all the little elements and uh, to put it together all on this table probably took about three hours or so. It's a really fun way to have this on display and to stare at it and play around with it for a whole week or so. 
And uh, let's look uh, closer at some of the uh, scenes that I set up. Here's a scene where I try to recreate Han and Luke talking, you know. Luke's trying to uh, talk him out of leaving. And if you look in the back there, there's uh, the Y-Wing. I was trying to make it movie specific angle wise, but uh, but this diorama doesn't have any movie specific scenes really. It's, it's all over the place. And uh, here is the new and improved vehicle maintenance energizer being worked on by 21B. Moving on here we've got Red 2, probably one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles is Red 2. Got some guy here on the ladder. That ladder really works well, like I said, on the 4 inch figures. There's Porkins. He's maybe trying out Wedge's vehicle there. And uh, here's a Rebel Transport with random stuff on it. And here we got Red 1 also known as the Red Leader vehicle with some troopers helping it out and I uh, want to show you guys the lighting here that I put in like I said the rest of these are taped it looks really good when um, I have this room in a, in a dark setting without any lights I didn't bother to put on the light caps on it because it was nice enough for me to just to have these lights shining this is a random uh, bottle cap or uh, orange juice cap I should say and also I wanted to point out this really awesome light here that Jedi Vlogger made is very very accurate to the movie shining on red 5 there it's really cool and uh, over here at the end here I've got a little meeting set up where the leaders are talking to some pilots for a final uh, briefing Got a guard up there. Check out this uh, machinery box that uh, Jedi Vlogger made. It's very awesome for hangar displays. Anyone ever uh, collected the uh, Zaga Legends and they gave they would give you these uh, sort of locker boxes containing weapons. I've got five of those and uh, I taped them together. Wish I had more. And over here I've got uh, Lando doing what he does best talking to the lady female uh, X-Wing pilots there is uh, an X-Wing pilot being driven to his location and over here we've got Admiral Akbar trying out a B-Wing Well, it's being set up at the same time. The B-Wing is probably the least in-scale vehicle that we have here in the Star Wars action figure universe, apart from the uh, Imperial Shuttle. You know, I kind of wish that it was in scale. It should be about twice its size, if I if I understand that correctly, but. Still good enough to put in the uh, diorama, looks good. And here is a rebel transporter with some pilots on the way to their vehicles. Moving on, here is Y-Wing getting prepped for battle 
with uh, Eklark Young on the helm and his droid. I was lucky enough to get a nice straight Y wing with no warping from the Toys R Us exclusive. A couple of the uh, prune guys. I don't know what race they are, but uh, those are the two I've got. Finally, the A wing, Red Leader's A wing, with three A wing pilots. It's a pretty cool setup. And here's another one of those uh, machinery boxes that Jedi Vlogger made with the Rebel. Maybe uh, punching in to get some soda drinks. And, uh, it's really about the small little details and elements that you make for a diorama that really enhances it. So this was a uh, fantastic way to put those little elements to use and finally since I will be uploading this on Father's Day I wanted to take the time to dedicate this diorama to anyone and everyone who has spent any time geeking out with uh, their children stepchildren nephew nieces younger siblings Happy Father's Day to everyone. And uh, I remind you that it's never too late to have a happy childhood. Although the second one is up to you and nobody else. Big thanks to Jedi Vlogger. And I will see you guys on the next video.